Hi, I'm Pablo Raya and welcome to Audio Piranha. This is my studio here in Brooklyn, New York. I wanted to talk to you guys about your monitor path and I want to give you guys a few tips on how a good monitor control can affect your decisions. I've had a few other monitor controllers in the past and I've found three main problems with them. Number one, your signal path. Most controllers use attenuators for the volume control which means there's no amplifier adding any sort of boost to your signal. When the build on your controller is not very good, you tend to have to get all the way up just to get that signal through in a good quality. It makes you listen to your speakers louder for longer periods of time, and that causes ear fatigue. Problem number two, build quality. A lot of controllers are built, but don't last. You tend to hit buttons and they stop working, they start crackling, they start making noises that you had never even heard of. They just don't last. Number three, expandability. Most controllers are what you see is what you get. It's either going to be a stereo controller or a basic 5.1 controller, and that's it. There's no way of expanding your current setup. The one controller that I found really addressed all of these issues was the Monitor ST. For example, let's start with the signal path. The Monitor ST has an extremely clean signal path which allows me to monitor at very low levels and at very high levels, and I'm hearing the exact same thing. It also uses a stepped attenuator, which allows me to set my levels exactly the same every time. Number two, build quality. I've had the Monitor ST for years, and I've never had a single problem with it. It continues to perform exactly the same every day. Number three, expandability. I do a lot of stereo mixes, and I do a lot of surround mixes. With the Monitor ST, I just add the monitor SR right here and I'm set up for 5.1 or 7.1 in literally clicks of a button. I've also upgraded my system by adding a high quality D to A. I've added a Convert 2 which easily integrates into the remote. I used to listen to my mixes everywhere, in the car, in the living room, on headphones, and ever since I upgraded my monitor path, I don't need to do that anymore. I'm very confident that my mixes translate everywhere I go. The first time I heard the Monitor ST, I was amazed at how clean and how solid of a build it has. And I was convinced that I needed to get that for my studio. Thanks for joining me. I hope this video was helpful to you guys.